With all the excitement surrounding the Los Angeles Clippers, it's easy to forget that Donald Sterling is still pretty detestable. He's still detestable. Well, he went ahead and fixed that after getting into it with Clipper Daryl, the one man that stood with this sad sack franchise when even Billy Crystal would not. But hey, don't worry, the Donald heard you, and he wants to make things right. Like, he really took advice from a hooker. He really was consulting with the hooker. It was in some paperwork. I don't know what the paperwork was from. Sterling said yeah. it was just sex for money, money for yeah. sex, sex yeah. for money, money, money for Yeah, money. well, there's the general level of confusion that I have with any level of conversation with a prostitute. I don't know, are you sure? Two first round draft picks? She is one smart hooker. She never let me down in the past. All right, I say we go with it. Yeah, make it happen. Mr. Sterling. Yes, Mr. Employee, what's going on? We took care of that Clipper Daryl situation. We have sent Daryl a cease and desist letter, strongly worded, just like you asked, and he will no longer be using the Clipper's name. Ah, yes, Darnell. What, what, uh, who is this guy? Did we uh, replace him with another player? No, sir, he was a fan. He's been cheering us on for years. Often wore two-tone suits, danced on the sideline, a loyal season ticket holder. Oh, yeah, I love that guy. And then dance around at the half times and why'd we get rid of him? I must let you know that the fans are very upset at the way that this is being handled by our front office. How are we gonna solve this problem? Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Now this, uh, Dominique, uh, Darnell, uh, the, 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 the Daryl character, he sounds, could he be, is he possibly black? African American, yes sir, he is. Great, don't they have a history month uh, about this time of year? No sir, it is March. Perfect, our timing is exquisite. Uh, we can throw a promotion at uh, Darnell, we'll make him feel like a re real celebrated member of the family. We'll call it an African American history month event. We can get some music, cool in the gang maybe to come out. Black people love them, right? We could do a big ad in the newspaper. Ooh, 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 can we get that smooth talking uh, black guy from the Field of Dreams movies? You know, the CNN guy. Do you mean James Earl Jones? That's the one. I believe he will be probably pretty expensive. Can we do it on the cheap? Can we just get James Jones? Hmm. Is there another Jones we could get? And action. Do I have to do this sh Coming this month for Black History Month for Donald Sterling. Hey! What? More, more lively. Coming up, the Donald Sterling Black History Month Bonanza! That good enough? Well, you really want me to do that? I'm not. They're paying you. Clipper fans, it's March. You know what time it is. Time for your early Kwanzaa present. That's right, it's time for the second annual Donald Sterling Black History Bonanza. Brought to you by Donald T. Sterling, 2009 NAACP Lifetime Achievement Award winner. Really? Join the Clippers in honoring the contributions of impoverished Los Angelinos everywhere. Because I was just thinking the Black History Month things let the first thousand poor kids in free. Oh, yeah. It said it on the page. The first 1,000 poor kids to the arena will receive free hand sanitizer, free hand sanitizer, free hand sanitizer, free hand, sa free hand sanitizer before they can get their hands on anything. Honor black African Americans like Tommy Griffin, whose strong black genes make his son, Black Blake, into the strongest man in the NBA with the most beautiful black body you've ever seen. We'll also honor real live African Michael Olawa Candy, the most overpaid African in Clippers and NBA history. Special invited guest, civil rights pioneer Rodney King. And don't forget, African Americans, you'll have your own section with its own bathroom. And yes, there will be barbecue. Also, African Americans, there's a job opening for you to dance courtside. In fact, let me throw that in there. I say, that's right, African Americans. If you need a job and you know you do, there's an opening for you to cheer for the Clippers. Just don't mess with the trademark. Stay all the way to the end of the Clippers victory and you'll see a live performance from Cool in the Gang. Celebrate good times, come on. It's the second annual Donald Sterling Black History Month Bonanza in March. You know it's in March, right? I don't even know if Donald Sterling is wrong with Clipper Daryl.
I just know I don't need an excuse to talk about him being terrible. Ever. Say one thing I want to think about it. It is one thing I can imagine that Donald Sterling absolutely would not say. It's African American history buzz. Black might even be a stretch. Okay. <laughs> you know? People kept joking about him being in school forever. I was like, yeah, he was in school forever. Then I looked up. No. He's still there now. Senior nights have just passed. The conference tournaments are on the way. This means this might be our last chance to say goodbye to a very special set of players. They're not just seniors. It seems like they've been in college forever. For ever. William Buford, who stayed at Ohio State so long, Greg Golden's pro career was finished before Buford's college days were done. Damn, man, it's a hard life for Greg Golden, boy. Sean Mosley, as Juan Dixon calls him, unk. Tyshawn Taylor, who played for Bob Hurley in high school. Or did he play with Bobby? It's been so long. Scoop Jardine, who got his nickname from his youth when he worked as a newspaper boy. I kind of like that one, I do. Extra, extra! Scoop Jardine has been there so long that he's actually played man-to-man -man defense. The rest of these cats been zoning up. Scoop's at practice, calling out people's manhood. Just walks up to dudes, slaps him in the chest. Yeah. Every day, every day. Just bow! Right there. Draymond Green, or one of those other burly guys Michigan State's had down low for the last 10 years. Irving Walker, we just remember him because he's little. Jeff Withy, yeah, scratch that one. Miles Plumley, coming soon! Mason Plum, coming later! Marshall Plum. Jordan Taylor, that's his name, right? I have a hard time telling those Wisconsin players apart. I'm sorry. Chuck Bryant, AKA Studebaker, who's been at West Virginia so long that I forgot his first name was Daryl. I never knew what his name was. He was Chuck as far as I know. Ronald Norred, who was an extra on the losing team in the final of Hoosiers. I hate Hoosiers, by the way. At least Matt Howard finally graduated. Whew, think about that. We all heard of Butler for two years. It seemed like Matt Howard had been there for 10. Two years, and it seemed like he'd been playing for 15. Butler plays old man ball, so all their guys always seem old. All they play is old man ball. Mucked up, nasty, low skill, old man ball. Everybody on the team should have knee pads. Whole team should have knee pads. Robbie Hummel. No way. No. Still? Oh, Robbie Hummel. Really? All right. Robbie Hummel, still in school. I can't only be his fifth. Six? Robbie Hummel, JD, MBA, MPA, XYZ. He'll be a dentist in a year. Scotty Reynolds, if he was there as long as he was, I can't be so sure that he ever left. Trust me, as long as he played, he's still around the yard somewhere. He's the old guy with the apartment off campus. Like there's a bunch of freshmen going to holla at Scotty, like, hey man, got some girls, got some Drake. All we need is a place. Scotty's, psh, come on through. Two Holloway, which is not short for Tutankhamen. He was the boy king. Two's 35 years old. We good? Yeah. yeah. Cool. We thought you were gonna go pro in the middle of the season, like two well, years ago. Well, actually, funny. Let a question. Have you ever heard of Terrence Dials? Don't ring a bell. He was the 2006 Big Ten Player of the Year. I had never heard of him until two months ago. Who? Terrence Dials. Who did he play for? Ohio State. It was his senior year. He was in school forever and nobody even noticed. 